Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain one example of maximum power transfer theorem. Here is the problem. For the value of resistance RL in figure for maximum power transfer and calculate the maximum power. So we have to calculate the maximum power for the value of RL. So we will basically find uh, the value of RL first and uh, then we will calculate the maximum power uh, delivered to this load resistance RL. Now this is the circuit. Now as per the procedure we have to follow some steps here and uh, these are the steps to be followed for maximum power transfer theorem. First we have to remove the load resistance RL. So we have to remove this resistance then find uh, VTH across points. VTH is Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So what, uh, whatever the procedure for VTH is there, it is actually taken from the Thevenin's theorem. So we can combine these two, two steps and uh, we can write here calculation of VTH across uh, these two points where we have removed the RL. So first step will be calculation of VTH. So this is our step one calculation of VTH and we have just removed this RL from the circuit and here we have to calculate VTH. Now to calculate VTH, uh, we you can use any uh, known uh, law that uh, uh, you are able to solve the problem. So I will use here mesh analysis. So let this current be I1 here and let the current flowing through this loop is I2. So here I have to find I1 and I2 and on the basis of that further I can calculate VTH here. So let us apply KVL here. So applying KVL to mesh 1 right here applying KVL to mesh 1 or you can write loop 1. So let it be the direction of current is assumed to be clockwise here and therefore this is 72 as the second sign is positive here then uh, it will be minus 6 times the current flowing is I1. Then through this 3 ohm resistance, the current I1 and I2 both currents are flowing and these are in opposite direction. So again, minus 3 times I1 minus I2. And as we have reached to the point again, it will be equals to 0. So after simplification here, uh, it will be minus 6 i1 minus 3 i1 plus 3 i2 equals to minus 72 or simply we can write here it has 9 i1 i'm just changing the sign so it is 9 i1 minus 3 i2 equal to 72 let it be equation number one now similarly applying KVL applying KVL to mesh 2 now applying KVL to um, second mesh will get this is I2 so minus I will start from this point again the direction of I1 and I2 are negative and I am uh, sorry i1 and i2 are opposite to each other and uh, as primary current is i2 here so it is minus 3 times i2 minus i1 as the direction of current are opposite to each other then minus uh, 2 times the only current is i2 then again this 4 ohm resistance is there 4 times i2 equal to Zero. So after simplification, we'll get minus three I one plus nine I two 
equal to 0 let it be equation number 2 now we are having equation 1 and equation 2 here so solving these two equations simultaneously so solving equations 1 and 2 solving equations 1 and 2 so after solving equation 1 and 2 simultaneously uh, we'll get i1 equal to 9 ampere and i2 equal to 3 ampere so this is the current i1 and i2 so we have to find vth here so let us write the equation now i am writing equation writing equation for vth vth is the voltage which is uh, here and the current flowing is i1 through this 6 ohm and uh, 2 uh, and uh, through this 2 ohm the current i2 is flowing so vth will be equals to i am moving from this direction so it is uh, vth minus here the current of i1 positive negative so minus 6 minus 6 times i1 is there then i am moving from this to this direction so again it is negative 2 times i2 equal to 0 so putting value of i1 and i2 here i will get the value of vth so vth after calculation vth will be equal to Sixty volt. So VTH, I got it as sixty. Our next step will be to calculate RTH. So step two is calculation of RTH. Here RTH is nothing but Thevenin's equivalent uh, resistance. So whatever uh, uh, voltage sources are there, it should be rep uh, replaced by short circuit and current sources must be replaced by open circuit. So here voltage will be uh, voltage source is available here. So we will replace it with short circuit and again VTH will remain as it is. Uh, sorry, here we have to find out RTH. So the overall circuit will be will remain as it is this loop will remain as it is this is open circuit here as we have removed rth then 2 ohm resistance will be remain as it is this is 6 ohm resistance this is 2 ohm resistance and this is 3 and this is 4 ohm resistance respectively and this is now short circuited so we can consider that this terminal and this terminal are same because these are short circuited so the circuit will the modified circuit will look like this now this is rth now let us replace this circuit with the equivalent circuit so let us assume that this point is a this is point B and let this node be C. Now as this B is short circuited with this point, this node is also called as B. So let us redraw the circuit here. Uh, now in between A and B, RTH is there along with a 4 ohm resistance. So this 4 ohm resistance is there and RTH is in parallel with this. So this is RTH and this is a 4 ohm resistance. Now to point C, let C is here. In between this is our point A. Okay, 
so it is your a and this is point b and let this point be c so in between b and c so in between b and c a 3 ohm resistance is there and a 6 ohm resistance is also there so in between b and c these two resistances are there one is of 6 ohm and another one is of 3 ohm and in between point a and c this 2 ohm resistance is there so overall circuit will look like this as we have covered all the resistances now this is the equivalent circuit and here you can see that this 6 ohm and this 3 ohm resistances are in parallel with each other so we will solve these two resistances first and further we will again calculate uh, RTH on the basis of that now the parallel combination of these two resistances are nothing but 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 6 plus 3 so the equivalent resistance will be 18 upon 9 that is 2 ohm resistance so parallel combination of these two resistances is 2 ohm and already 2 ohm resistance was there this is our previous 2 ohm resistance and 4 ohm resistance now to calculate RTH RTH will be equal to so this resist 2 ohm resistance and this 2 ohm resistance will be in series so we can write 2 plus 2 ohm resistances uh, resistance plus parallel combination of this 4 ohm resistance to calculate RTH so 4 ohm is in parallel with this 2 plus 2 now we can write here 2 plus 2 is 4 so in numerator 4 multiplied by 4 will be there and in denominator 4 plus 4 will be there so it is 16 over 8 there and therefore equivalent resistance RTH it is 2 ohm and this is RTH so we have calculated VTH here RTH here now as per maximum power transfer theorem RL is equals to RTH so RL equal to RTH equal to 2 ohm so this is the resistance for the uh, maximum power to the uh, to be delivered to the load so RL must be of 2 ohm for the maximum power and maximum power can be calculated by using this formula so P max that is maximum power equal to VTH square upon 4 RTH or we can say RL because RL is equal to RTH here so maximum power equal to so VTH we have already calculated it and it was 60 volt so 60, 60 square upon 4 times RTH RTH is 2 ohm so after solving this will get 450 watt maximum power is p max equals to 450 watt so this is the maximum power which is to be uh, which is uh, which will be delivered from source to load if uh, load resistance is 2 ohm thank you